before starting levitation let us discuss about force rest laws of motion and motion so first let us see what is motion an object is said to be in motion when its position changes with respect to time what is rest an object is said to be in rest if its position does not change with respect time what is force force can be defined as a push or pull offered by an object to another object now let's recall the three laws of motion laws of motion number one v equal to u plus a t s is equal to u t plus half a t square and v square minus u square is equal to 2a s where v is equal to final velocity u equal to initial velocity A equal to acceleration, T equal to time, and S is equal to distance. Now let us discuss about universal law of gravitation. of gravitation we have in our book that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force 
Twitch. Is directly proportional to the product of their masses. and inversely and inversely proportional <laughs> to the square of the distance between them The distance is the line joining the center, sorry, joining the center of the two objects now what we get is force is directly proportional to the product of the masses let's name it one and force is inverse proportional to the square of the distance we take it as 2 combining 1 and 2 we get Force is die M into M by T square or or force is equal to universal gravitation constant into mass of the objects by the distance square. Where G is the constant of proportional known as universal gravitation. constant 